Okay, so here I am. I'm just stopping to have a bit of a listen, heading up to my sniping spot. Um, it's a pretty good spot up here. You can just sort of have a look out. I'll just fast forward a little bit, fast track this. I sit there a bit, just waiting for a uh, see if I can hear anything really. Stop and have a bit of a look see, here we go. Now we can see what I'm doing. Always wise to use the binoculars, leave the tank under cover, use your, bin use your binos, you know. There we go. Over to the side down in here. And uh, there's the first target spotted. And it's a good shot. Glad that one didn't go too high. Pants is very weak in the side. But, uh, oh gee, I make some terrible shots here, I tell you, shoot way too far behind. There you go, he sees me, shot too far behind. I do some terrible ones, I tell you. Finally get him though. He starts moving. It's too far behind. He's probably thinking, gee, this guy can't shoot. He's giving me a size, but not wise. Got his barrel. Wasn't aiming for it, but it's a good outcome. Then he stopped. Don't know why he stopped, but anyway. His barrel was out, not his engine. Um, really, see, he should have angled himself. If he had have angled himself right, uh, I wouldn't be able to pin him. Not at this distance. Um, I end up having to shoot out with another tiger soon. Uh, I can't pin it, it's too far away. You can see it up just along the back of the hill there where my mouse is. Here we go, you see, I'm starting to zoom in on it now. I've spotted him. See, I can hear something over there. Yeah, there we go, seen a shot just over there. I'll go to have a look. I've seen one down low. Over here in front. I don't end up getting that one. I don't know who does, but anyway. There you go. I didn't get his brakes, but I did get his uh, two crew members. It's a good outcome. He's not going to have a gun for a little bit. I don't know what that was that caused that. It wasn't artillery. Someone shot at me. I think it was that tiger way over in the distance. Had to take care of him first. There's a tiger, first shot's way too low. Need to be more around like 12. Oh, 11, 12, he's dead. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. We've got the hit, see, it's done nothing. He's angled very well. And, uh, it's not his direct side. At this distance, the T20 pen goes way down. See, hit him on that front flat plate, that, if he was closer he'd be dead, but I end up deciding to back out of here because his, his, his shells are getting a bit close. Uh, he's got pretty good cover there. If, uh, if I hang around and uh, another one on the front plate does nothing, I end up deciding it's a good time to retreat. I do have another tank here assisting me. I'll continue to fire just to, uh, you, you know, don't want to let him get too comfortable and pull out. That'd be bad for me. Go around the other side of the rock. The uh, sort of, how many kills did I get? Ah, uh, three. So, I mean, you know, well, we got a few, what, there's four enemy killed. Another guy killed one, that will be the guy next to me, I think. That jumbo. So, I mean, we took out uh, three or four between us. It's pretty good, so I mean, that's it's definitely weakened the enemy. I mean, they made a direct assault. 
only a cat, not really was. Um, it's a good idea to uh, try and stop stop that assault first, and then uh, basically I decide that hey, maybe it'd be good to like, push across, maybe move around for that tiger. I was thinking about going for that tiger, but I end up not even worrying about it. I'm not sure if someone got it. Let's have a look at the kill feed. I can't see it dead. But um, there he is. He's like a shot. He's seen me, shot back. I was hitting him. Just, uh... Yeah. I mean, that wasn't a very good hit, that one, but he would have kept him on his toes anyway. It's pretty good when you, um, you know, it puts you under a bit of pressure. Uh, I'll get bombed here, almost, anyway. Pretty damn close. Ooh. There's the plane that dropped it. He ends up just flying away, he dropped his whole load. Um. Anyway, so now I'm on the enemy side. Could be very cautious around here. Time to forget about the plane. Focus on the ground. I'm still sort of concerned about the, um, the A point, but did hold them off pretty good. So I mean, that tiger's pretty slow. So not too threatened right now. There's a shot to my right over to the B. Uh, we did have a few friendlies heading straight to B. Um, they do end up getting there. There we go, I see a bullet or something hit the dirt up there. Which, um, obviously someone shot there for a reason. I don't see any enemy target right now, but just moving steady, nice and slow, you know, there's more. Obviously, someone shooting at someone up there. Just check my corner there, bang, there we go. See him in my sights. Oh, there's that nice side. Bang, and dead. Beautiful shot, big guy. All right, now. Yeah. What are we doing? Just sort of stopping, having a listen, see if I can hear any engines, what's happening around me. Always a good, always a good thing to do. There's sort of nowhere, I sort of want to keep the high ground, you know what I mean? Like, if I had it pushed out there, I'm going down low, it's open. You know, it's sort of better off staying in here in between the rocks. I can get a lot of cover in the shadows and stuff from the planes. I'm not really concerned about planes right now though. Just, uh, just going nice and steady. Checking my corners. I mean there could be a guy in here with his engine off just sitting there waiting for you to drive around, you never know. I mean if you know your team's not doing so good it's probably a really good really good option. Uh, get, get yourself in a spot where you know they're probably going to come past and uh, camp up and just wait for them to drive around. You've got to have a lot of patience because uh, generally people get over it pretty quick and end up moving. And uh, it's at that time that they die. There you go, this guy here, Jap, first guy, chopper. Oh, so he didn't even get his gun, there's that, straight in the side. There's a Jap. Yeah, they got no armor. She's a bit low. He's got him on fire though. Oh, and took out a few coups. Uh, so he's not very happy. That was way too low. Move it up a bit. Yeah, there we go. That took way too many shots, but anyway, he's dead. That's the main thing.
I'm just moving real steady. It's not like, you know, obviously it's sim battle. It's not like I can, I can just go third person and uh, look around the corner while, while uh, not exposing myself. That's why all those panthers died in the last recording I made. They just couldn't help but push out to look. Well, they all died. Yeah, just have a pop up over here. We're now decapping the B point. Means any spawning tanks are probably going to head towards B point. That would be their wise move. The spawn point's just out in front. I end up deciding that uh, this position isn't really very safe. See, I've turned around and drive away. Figured I sort of need to get out of there while it is clear. Obviously, you go fast and forwards. Risky, but it was successful this time. Um, obviously, there, there's a tank friendly. Sherman is on the point. Obviously the point is being capped. As there's Japs on the other team, you've got to be careful, they do have the M4A3. Is uh we end up marking each other. So we both know where each other are. There's one more guy down towards this way. I mean I end up spotting him. Uh, that M4A3 ends up getting bombed. I think now there's a plane, yep, bang. Very open out on a point like that, but you know, what can you really do unless you're a triple I mean, if you go into a simulator battle with a full squad, it's always good to take one triple I mean, if you're playing by yourself, not much you can do, even one other person, maybe still better off having a tank, but and if you get three or four, someone should definitely go in a triple A, it's always a wise choice. You know, it, it is quite hard for the uh, planes to identify tanks. Obviously they um obviously they can't really uh like C2 well. When I fly, I mean I've only had two tank bombs. Um, oh, see I spot him. He hasn't spotted me though, surprisingly. Yeah. He's obviously not looking right here. I see his barrel's looking towards his right a bit, which is to my left. I'll back up just to ensure that he's not gonna see me. There. You'll see his front's facing me. That's no good. I ain't gonna pin that. So, uh, and you know, from this distance, going for his, his turret, a little bit risky. Better off waiting for a side shot. Gives me a lot more, a lot more of an easier shot and a certain kill. And, uh, Sean, yep, yeah, there it is. Got me side shot. Yeah, uh, dead. Uh, six kills, that's it. I don't get any more. It's, uh, it's basically game over. There's one more, the other fellas kill him. Um, yeah, not long left now. I've almost kept the food point. Uh, anyway, that was a pretty good match. Being nice and sneaky, staying in the cover. Pinned at the A point. Uh, and then I made the move over and uh, recovered the B point. Yeah, I made sure these fellas didn't get over there. All in all, good match. Didn't die. That's always a good thing. Especially in a big open map like this. I mean, there's so many open 
direction. I mean, those guys sitting out there in the sand, I mean, what other things can happen? So it's a death trap waiting to happen. Spawn, get the cover, stay there. Sign up.